Never wait for hot water again with a tankless water heater from Plumbing Experts. Tankless water heaters are easy, convenient, and now more affordable with a no interest financing for up to 18 months. Stop with the cold showers and wasted water and call Plumbing Experts today. It's the Weather Extreme video. This is the afternoon edition. This is for Monday, the 2nd of November. I'm James Spann. Another cold night coming up tonight. We have a frost advisory for the northern two-thirds of the state. Let's dive in and talk about it. There's the upper air look this afternoon. Big trough sitting on the east coast, a big ridge in the west. And amazingly quiet across the country on this 2nd of November. Uh, you could basically fly from Jacksonville, Florida to Seattle, Washington, not see a cloud in the sky. Temperatures way below average. We've got 59 at Birmingham at 2.30. We ought to be at 70 this time of the year. And around the region, Atlanta, 58. Huntsville, 56. Memphis, 58. But we go back in the 70s later this week. We do note there is a frost advisory for about the northern two-thirds of the state tonight. As far south as Sumter, Dallas, Lowndes, Montgomery, Bullock, and Barber counties. Lows tomorrow morning, I'd say between 28 and 36 for most spots. As the wind goes calm and no severe weather through tonight, no thunderstorms around the country through midweek and rain, not a lot. Uh, the bigger numbers back in the Pacific Northwest, Alabama, basically no rain through the upcoming weekend. So the emphasis again on the tropics. This is now a major hurricane, Hurricane Ada. Top winds have increased to 120 miles an hour. This will come into Nicaragua's coast tonight. Loop through Central America, through Honduras, and then it recurves back into the Caribbean by Saturday morning. And many of the models suggest this could re-intensify. This is the tropical set, and you can see a sharp bend back to the east. And this is the GFS ensemble. Many of the members bring it up toward Cuba and the southern tip of Florida. We just don't know if this will reach the Gulf or be a problem for Alabama or any spots around here. Uh, just something to watch in coming days. And the intensity guidance, and obviously once the system is inland, it weakens. But notice that gradual curve back up in about five days once the system gets back over the water. So let's go through modeling. This is the GFS, the 12Z run, valid tomorrow at 4, ridging over much of the country. And that is Election Day, and it's amazingly quiet. No severe weather, no flooding, no snowstorms. Raining in Seattle and Portland, and that's about it. Maybe a bit of light snow for northern New England. Around here, the day will be sunny. After starting the day around freezing, the high will be in the 60s. Wednesday, sunny with low 70s. Thursday, again, low 70s, lots of sunshine. This is Friday, will be in the mid-70s, another beautiful day. Saturday as the weekend begins, partly sunny, mid-70s. Sunday... Moisture tries to increase, but we'll leave it dry, partially sunny with low to mid-70s. And a week from today, this is Monday, the ninth big trough in the west, ridge in the east as the pattern flips, and that is a nasty-looking snow and ice event from Denver up to Des Moines. And for us, I think we're still dry, and we note that low south of Cuba, that's Ada. It's going to be around for a while. Let's go out 10 days, Thursday of next week, the 12th of November, Again, trough north and west of the state in Ada on the GFS, north of the Yucatan on the European. It's south of Cuba near the Isle of Youth. It's a pretty intense tropical system. Uh, and again, we're quiet, but evidence in the uh, ensembles that we might begin to see rain back in here toward mid-month, about 10 to 15 days from now. This is the ensemble. The mean is about 1 to 2 inches off the European and we start to warm up. There are the numbers. We'll be back in the mid-70s through the weekend and maybe even upper 70s early next week. And this is the CPC outlook for the 10th of November through the 16th. And it's a high-amplitude pattern, very cold in the west, very mild in the east. And if this verifies, temperatures here would be above average. That's it for the Weather Extreme video this afternoon. We'll have notes on the blog. The next video here by 7 o'clock tomorrow morning. If you can, catch us this evening on ABC 3340 News at 4, 5, 6, and 10 o'clock. Thanks for watching. Have a great evening and God bless. There are better ways to keep cool. Call KS Services and receive a new Bryant unit with no payments and no interest for 18 months. Stay cool now and pay later. Visit callks.com for more.